Good morning, everybody. This is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah. And I was on YouTube this morning. I, I, I checked my notifications, and I was on this one channel. I'll list it below. But it got me around to thinking that the United States... could use the carrot or the whip. And I've been reading the book by um, Peter Zion. It's the end of the world is only, <laughs> the end of the world is only the beginning. And he talks about it's this international order. It's there never has been an international order. Well, Rome was able to set up something with Gaul for a little while, Gaul and the Iberian Peninsula. But worldwide open trade, globalization, that had never happened before. And the efficiencies that were involved, it's... That's why we went, that's why we're at 8 billion people now. That's why the world's in danger of just snuffing itself because the bacterial colony that is humanity just finally became too much. But yes, this Bretton Woods system that's, you know, <coughs> It de all depends on peace. It all depends on people going along with it. It all and uh, the United States, it's their military, their navy bolsters the whole setup. It only works as long as America is Atlas and holding it up on its shoulders. Well. That is only good for America when it is good for America. Everyone has to realize that this system has to pay off for the people who are keeping the whole system in place. But the expenses have been coming up. It's Russia. It's the Soviet Union. Oh, you were communists and you collapsed and... Maybe we should have sent in occupational forces to liberate Russia just to say, okay, let's make sure that the mafia, Russian mafia, doesn't take over and doesn't strip out all the um, capital infrastructure and sell it off to the world and guarantee that Russia would be just be impoverished for the next 10 years instead of being able to take off on just the industrial base that the Soviet Union had left behind. But yeah, it's maybe it's just something about the Slavic culture. It's they had the book the system, it's gone, it's they could have been they could have applied for NATO membership. All they had to do to be it's all the wealth, mineral wealth and energy wealth in Russia. They could have set themselves up. They could have had the same. They could have had a plutocracy too. They just had to bow to the Western banks, to the dollar. So that was screwed up. That added costs. It's Israel. It's. They should, who they should understand money better than anybody else. But what are they doing? But all the destabilization, that's been a cost to the Bretton Woods system. It's been a drag. It's We've been dripping blood because of Israel. Iran? It's really? It's... You had to you had to have a religious fundamentalist revolution. Jeez. Well, at least he industrialized. It's it's there's a lot of tech going on in Iran. But China's the the largest disappointment. It's 
as oh what's his name is Peter Zion as Peter Zion says it's China is thousands of miles away from its consumer customers it's a thousands of miles away in the other direction from its resource base from where it gets its its intakes um all the wealth it's all the prosperity that came to china all the growth it was because it's they were just shipping into sea lanes that were protected by the United States fleets. All they had to do is just swear themselves to be the indentured servants to the international banks. It's better to be a slave in the land of milk and honey. <laughs> <laughs> golden plenty than to be masters of a shithole. And guess what, China? In the, la in the last uh, in the last 30 years while China was growing those that its eastern coast it's just swarming with swarming with the greatest urban organizations of, of population that the world's ever known. And just as soon as it's the international American imposed globalized order disappears, as soon as it's worth more to Americans to just stay at home than by holding the world up on its shoulders, they're all going to die. I think Peter Zion says, hey, half their population will be gone right there. Bam. Mm. But yes, this is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah. And I'm putting this out to all those stubborn nations out there. It's surrender into a global peace. That's why. Why do I even have to say this? Surrender to peace. Yeah, it's the U.S. will take some cream off the top. Why shouldn't they? Plus, they're the only, they're the only civilization. Well, I was hoping for a global civilization, but now they're the only society that can work it out in both ways. It's you want peace. The United States will be the one that profits the most by peace. You want to break down the international order? Okay. Wonder if America can play that game too. It's all the while that the Britain was was going. It's America just was it a happy accident? It's I figured it in industrial complex military industrial complex was just making hay while the sun was shining but all those weapons do exist i was always wondering what will america ever use them for they will use them if britain woods ever breaks down it's we can make money by peace or we can make money by war Surrender. Surrender now while your terms are the best there will ever be. Oh, yes, you have nuclear weapons. What? To commit suicide with? Okay, this is the only way you can make nuclear weapons work for you. You can sell them to... Should we let the UN into it? Hell no. The UN has all those little countries that... Well, they might vote power to themselves. Well, that's a laugh. The UN, you've had your chance. How many years have, has the UN been here? And you never institutionalized internationalism. Where's my international passport, UN? Ha! Well, the UN's always been captive by whoever. But make a deal with the... No, not with the United States government. There is no United States government. It's 
American democracy is just uh, a way of connecting into big business. It's the banks. The banks control American democracy, or they will. If populism ever steps in and really tries to screw with the international order, yes, you will see, oh, you will see that suddenly there's a better system of government than democracy, and it will originate in America. But yes, it's, there will be, well, what's the CIA for? It's, America is willing to reach out to anybody who's willing to surrender. It's <laughs> the, the company, the CIA. It's you, you can make arrangements. It's just, well, read Peter Zion's book, The End of the World is Just the Beginning, and find out just how bad it looks for you down the road. Jesus, it's we can all pull together and at least save the ruling classes. Yeah, it's everyone got into a whole lot of trouble because everyone needed a cheaper workforce than everybody else. And so we overpopulated the hell out of the planet. What will we do about that? Well, the first thing we did need to do is we need to put a lot of money, not much compared to how much money we have flying around out there, and build a supercomputer predictive modeling system that will just suck in all the data we have. Yeah, it's going to be billions of variables, but they have supercomputers working on that. And, yeah, the first... The way supercomputer predictive modeling works is I've had authors that go, Oh, what good is knowing what's out there if we don't know what to do about it? Ah, once we have a predictive model, once we ha understand how to weigh the variables, then we can assume that, well, we have a good idea on what variables will do if we change the inputs. We can change the... Inputs going into the system that change the direction the system takes. It'll be hit and miss, miss for the first <laughs> a couple hundred years. But we, we can have enough computer power right now to give us a sketch compared to what the, the portraits will be in the future. And it will tell us. The system just... No ideolog no human beings, no ideological biases. Just leave human beings out and run clean, divine intelligence. Ooh, but it's biased. Yeah, it's biased toward what happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's in predictive model, computer modeling, pr predictive modeling systems, there's no such word as unfair. <laughs> it's all results are in the same column. <laughs> the fair results do unfair. Well, yeah, if that factors in, if that factors in. But yes, it's <clears throat> we will have to buy back all those nuclear weapons. What else can we do, right? We can't have anyone explode. If, if there's like terrorists exploding, yeah, it's, we might, okay, who's crazy? Islam might be crazy. Russia, it's, they don't, it's, they're not, they're not crazy when they're sober. But Slavs, oh, uh, they're, they're already so emotional, right? It's. Also, it's, I don't think they've really been civilized. You notice how impassioned the, the Russians are, the Slavs are? Well, every civilization that, ha every young civilization, every people that's only been civilized within the last couple hundred years, and before that they were just eh, barbarians on the steps, you know, scratching themselves, well... 
they all make terrible drunks. The thing about civilizations where the people have sort of in, intelligent impulse control, we're all better drunks. It's like we're, we're conditioned. It's we've been drinking alcohol long enough where it's our evolutionary uh, being has learned to deal with it. And one of the ways is, hey, let's not be so quick on the trigger because sometimes we get drunk and we really get into trouble. So we really have to balance out. We have to have more baseline impulse control just to be able to handle ourselves when we get drunk. But yes, it's... We might have to worry about crazy people in Islam, fanatics, or we have to worry about drunks, drunk Slavs. Will the Chinese ever go suicidal? No. We can buy those nukes back. It's yeah, it's the Chinese that's gonna commit suicide when he can get a billion dollars per bomb, right? <laughs> anyway, God bless you all everybody.